So to crack on then, let's have it. Hello and welcome to Getting Lost with Stewie. We are Andy and Lee and together with our three sons, George, Charlie and Sebastian, we are converting our VW LT46 minibus Stewie into a camper van to take us on some pretty awesome adventures. Last week, I was trimming around our windows with carpet and tying up a few loose ends. He also saw Andy turn his hands to comedy, but the less said about that, the better. Join us this week as we clad our ceiling and finally get our head around the electrics. Hi and welcome back to Getting Lost with Stevie. Today my mum's going to be carpeting around the back doors and my dad's going to be lining the walls. Right, I boarded the walls with 9mm ply. Um, the reasoning behind that is so we can hang stuff off it. If we ever want to put another shelf on it or another unit, we've got the strength behind it. The slight gaps between it and what I'm going to do with those is I'm going to fill it with either CT1 or stick saw or other good sealants that are available. Um, I'm going to fill it in and then I'm going to put fine filler over the top. Because if you just fill it full of filler, it's going to vibrate about and crack off and just, yeah, not good. So that's our reasoning behind that. The windows have worked very well. I've tried as hard as I can to cut round it. It's not a Swiss watch. I don't pretend to be an amazing joiner. I'm just a roofer with a saw. But I think I've done an all right job, really. And once these are all filled and Lee's had a go with it, it'll be absolutely boss. The walls are getting painted as well. Um, and the boards were super dry. It all went into them, not that heavy. Right, the boards on the walls, I've used countersunk screws. I think they're like 38 mil, I think they are. They're not very big. They've got the little drill bitty thing on the end and yeah they're countersunk i think they're zinc plated but they're good and they've worked good i mean i've countersunk some of the holes and they've worked which is the name of the game and in later on in the video when you see the ceiling i use the exact same ones but the baby version look and i could pretend that these were some 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 really big posh wholesaler they were from ebay there were a hundred of these bigger ones were about i think four quid and these little ones, I got 200 for less than a fiver. So, shop about. Whilst Andy's been doing everything else, because he's so wonderful and can do absolutely everything. I've been busy carpeting this door in quite a shoddy manner. However, no, it's good. It's not too bad. The only bit that we'll be seeing will be this bit around the window, hopefully. Because all of this and all of this bit down here are going to be cladded in the same matchboard in that we've used on the ceiling. Hopefully. Um, and he's going to trust me with a saw again, I think. She's done good with a saw. How many fingers you got left? That many. That's good. Um, and I'm going to try my very hardest to cut around things. You can do that. But Andy will still have to screw it in because I still can't use a drill. She can. You can do it more than she thinks she can. I'll try to use a drill. She's an independent woman, aren't you, Lee? Yeah. You just don't want to put the bins out in the curl, do you? No, I don't no. do bins. No. Yeah. What I was trying to tell you was, I'll put your wood here, I'll put your wood here and I've been captain this. Well, today we've just had Gavin Alley round, who came to have a look. They live near us. Bought some gloves, thank you very much. We're not sponsored by Gavin Alley. Um, today we've basically been trying to get the first board straight because we've got two skylights we can't just run a full board through you haven't told them that we've been climbing the ceiling yeah we've been climbing the ceiling <laughs> yeah been climbing the ceiling
basically cladding the ceiling and because we've got two skylights like I said it's a bit trickier with regards to running one board through so all I did is I ran a board through and then cut the bits out. Yeah so far so good we've got to the part now where we need to put a little notch in the king span because the next board on this side will have the lights in it but now I'm going to go and get donuts and ice cream and have a little walk along the seafront because tomorrow I'm back at work and then it all starts again so yeah that's it for van building today obviously this might not be in the right order but you can come with us and I'll show you the delicious donuts I get and the delicious ice cream I get hopefully my favourite donut shop's open because it's not open yet but yeah fingers crossed <laughs> Now just like the famous song from the 80s, what a feeling, and with tongue and groove in the ceiling. And it's worked out very well. <laughs> That's a good joke. Um, it's worked out very well, if I do say so myself. It was expertly cut by Lee, and as you saw, the last bit, I don't know what all the days will be in, I'm really, really tired. It was the baby version of the big ones that we did. And basically they've gone into the ceiling with, I think they were uh, zinc cups for the screws because you could get brass stainless steel or zinc but because these are zinc coated the stainless steel ones were a complete different color and lee wouldn't have that at all so i i did, I did consult her before i did it i don't make any decisions by myself i'm married now so i just yeah i just say is this okay lee can we do so and so but yeah basically the caps all the the cups sorry and the screws for all the ceiling came in at less than a tenner for all those if you want a link i'm sure i could probably link but same with the walls it's just the exact same screws really it just saves having to drill through into the metal with a drill bit and snapping drill bit i use a lot of tap bolts and well, i did when we do like metal roofs um like the self-drilling screws if you're going to put boards on the wall and you're not mega confident in your own abilities if you're drilling the wall it's basically you have to drill through the board drill through the ribs of the van and then put a screw in it if you snap a drill a bit, it's it's not good, you're not gonna have a good time. So your best bet is to get these. And then when you screw them in, it's got a little drill bit on the end, and if you can see that. Yep. Yeah. And then when they go in the wall, basically through this one. And it there's a there's a hole there that I missed. But basically it drills its own hole in, drills into the metal. So it just saves one extra step really. It's like my favourite cartoon says, so it's just with less steps. But yeah, basically it's just a self self drilling screw with a countless sunk head. Some people might want um to be, to be able to, to like see the screws and put the cap the cups on it and stuff. Lee doesn't, Lee wants it to be all smooth and Lee wants Lee gets. Hi, didn't see you there. Just doing a bit of amateur electric work. We've been talking mainly, we talk quite a bit, about should we explain what we've done with our electrics? And I think the best advice we can give is go and watch Greg Verger. He's very sensible, very good, explains stuff perfectly. He's somebody you should follow, what they say. Me, I've done it and it's worked, but I wouldn't want anybody to copy what I've done. Basically I've done it properly and I followed what Greg said like the two and a half mil cable and I bought a proper fuse box instead of just wiring it all together with quality street wrappers and things like that but I'm confident it's safe. I don't want anybody getting hair. I don't want my van burning down. 
I've got quite a dark sense of humour, but I wouldn't I wouldn't be laughing if I came out with Amazon flames, would I? But yeah, basically I've done it all properly. We've got the electric hookup, works properly. We've got my proper fuse box. I bought a bus spare and I don't actually need it. Um it all works with it mocked up the other day. I've got a real battery. Um I'm just now I've got it all working. Look, I've even got an isolate switch. Like a big boy. Look, see? Heat shrink as well. See? No quality street wrappers here. Lots of mess as well. Well, it's... Uh, you know what I mean? All, all the best artists were messily. Um, this, is right, our, Picasso. this is my canvas. But yeah, I'm going to now put it on here and do it like through there so it's nice and neat. Um, so it looks good, basically. But it is safe and it's all done properly. I've got proper cable as well. I haven't just gone to the tip and cut flexes off hoovers and stuff like that. There's to be people watching this that know me will be thinking, I bet you have, but I haven't, Lee won't let me. It's got proper cable, um, all in the ceiling. We just did what Greg did, we just ran the cable all the way through and sort of teed off it for each light. And that's got a proper fuse, which my dad, who's a proper responsible adult, is going to work out. But I'm, I've got a really low fuse in there for the minute. But we also wired the fan, which is a fan, and that's got lights, and that's on its own fuse as well, situated here. The lights are all hooked up and working. Um, we haven't got a battery charger yet. My dad is going to bring me a battery charger so I can, when it's plugged into the hook up, battery charge it into here and then battery charger onto the battery. And then we are all sorted really. All we've got to do eventually is buy the USB socket, which will go on the walls. And then we're more or less, apart from the solar, which we'll get one day, we'll we're pretty much done, really, with regards to electrics. I've got to run another wire off eventually for the water pump because I said we should use a bucket and pour water out and go get it out of a well. But Lee said it's not the dark ages anymore and she insists on running water. So we're going to do that. We're going to have a proper water pump. So like when you turn it on, it's like, mm, like a posh, posh luxury tap. I'm also going to buy a water filter as well because I'm very health conscious. Um, Did you used to be a plumber, so you do not, you're doing all that. Yeah, I do actually. I was, I was time saved heat engineer, both amazingly. And uh, yeah, the plumbing's pretty good. And to be fair, Super Mike, who we shout out on here anyway, he's already done it. He does a sink, um, and he's a plumber, and he's a lot more sensible than I am. Mike's, Mike knows what he's doing. If I do anything in here that's not right, I'm sure Mike will go, no, he can't do that, dude. Will he? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at. So we've got two cables running down here, which I'll be absolutely honest, forgot to run behind the box. <laughs> so I'm going to put trunking down here. But one of them is for the lights and the fan up there, which is on its own. And then all the spotlights are on its own cable. So it's two different cables. And we've got another cable somewhere, which is for the USBs, which I'm not going to wire up yet because they're all down to the other side where Lee is. Um, and then I'll run another cable because this is going to be our seating area and I will run a cable that way for the water pump easy peasy but don't follow what I've done go and watch Greg yeah thank you to everybody who's commenting on the videos and shouted us out it's been great shout out to everybody in Dad Clan who's that's a real thing by the way who's commenting on the videos and we had a lot of new subs haven't we and a lot of, we have. New, a lot of new followers surprisingly surprisingly very pleased about it it's been good. Shout out to Jackie and Phil. Again, I got told off by Phil. Sorry, Phil. Love you. Thanks to everybody who's commented on the videos and liked the videos. Um, and subscribe to the videos. And that one. If you, Cheers, Seagulls. Um, if you like what you see and you want to see more of the exciting world of LT46 builds, then please like and subscribe. And click the notification button. Leave us comments, we really appreciate them. It's nice to get a bit of feedback that people are enjoying what we're doing. If you want any advice on anything we've done so far, I mean, we're not claiming to be professionals, but you want to know where we've bought anything in particular or advice on hair care, then, yeah, we're all good. Right, thank you very much. We'll see you next week. Ta-ra. Bye-bye. Give us a kiss. <laughs> But thank you very much. The hand thing, that video, have you not seen it? I'm doing the hand thing, have you seen it? <laughs> it's mad, mate, I'll show you. I don't want to see it. Can, Can you help me back in? The gear nightmare. What are you get, love? Come back. <laughs> That's a shame. <laughs>